Hello, my name is Jamon Cole. I'm 6'1", and I'm with the Brett Adams Agency. Damn! Since day one, day one, you've been fucking up. Not just that other day, neither, when you were standing here, looking all lost and stupid, all high on life, and that little bit of weed that Food Lion won't find in your piss. Oh, man, hell, oh, man, from day one. I don't like what stopped taking us to church. I stopped going because I didn't want to go in the first place. But you kept on getting up in the morning. You kept getting up every Sabbath. And going down to the river to wash your fucking sins away. And everybody say, look at little size taking up the cross with Jesus. Look at him. He only nine. Look at that devotion to Jesus. You should go be like your brother, Ogun. You should go to church like Oshusi. You know what I wanted to say? Fuck that nigga and the church. I was jealous. I was. I have to admit that right now in your face. I said, why couldn't I be devoted like Oshusi? Why didn't I want to sit in that boring ass church all day and listen to the hypocrites sing songs on high to a God that ain't listening? Because he wasn't. He ain't. He wasn't then and he ain't now. I've been praying for your ass like a fool. I know God. I know God just son and work and fuck ups from you. I wanted to be you for a moment. Your little size. I wanted to be just like my little brother. Until then, me and Allegra found you using that money you were stealing from the collection and crafting it. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything turned. Everything turned and it spun right around and landed on me. Everybody's like, well, he only nine. <laughs> if you would have been a better role model for him, Ogun, he wouldn't have acted like that. If I would have, if I, Brown Leg was sealed the deal though. That miserable ass lady. She made my whole world crash down in front of me. She said, Your mama would have been so disappointed in you. Letting your brother go like that. Your mojo would have hated you failing her. I let you go. I let you go. For me. She said mama name. She'll never say mama name. But she threw that shit in my face. I got one image of my mama in my mind. One. And it, it fucks with me at night. You hear me? It's that shit that keeps me building a fucking driveway to nowhere. Shit that won't let you lay down. She's standing near the water, my mama. Standing out, looking out. Looking out towards the gulf. Belly full of you, and she's standing there, holding my hand. Tight, tight, tight. Just her in the water. Us. Part of all I got left, nigga. So when Aunt Allegra and all her wisdom decided to make my ass feel guilty about you, that thought, that thought, it sprung up in my head. My mama holding my brother inside and me tight, gripping. So I held on from that day. I gripped onto your ass and pushed you through school, 
I forced you up and out. Whatever the fuck you did, I did it. I burned my chance at anything so that I didn't leave you behind. I would run after you and ahead of you, always hoping that I could get my grip on you, or at least catch you before anybody else did. But no matter what I did, no matter if I, if I thought you were fine, if I thought you were going to be okay, somehow you would always slip through and fuck up. And fuck up. And fuck up. And when you fuck up, somehow I fuck up. Somehow there's no escaping you. You say I ain't never been in the pen? <laughs> That's my fucking life sentence. That's my lockdown. All my life. I carry your sins on my back. And now you're out there riding around in a car that I souped up and popped off only so they could find you in it with a fucking pound of powder. <laughs> hey, yo! What the fuck? No, shut up, shut up. Shut, shut the fuck up. You don't say a fucking thing. You fucked up. Say that. You want to say something for once in your life? Say something for me. You fucked up. Hmm? You fucked up. 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 You see, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked.